G'day YouTube, welcome back. What MJ here. Well, it's Friday evening here in Australia, so the weekend is upon us. Let's all keep in the back of our minds that there's traditionally a bit of a weekend pullback. But, you know, not only is Bitcoin pumping, the large cap alts are also, excuse me, pumping. And look, it's generally a cycle that it kind of follows. And once you understand this cycle, you can really try to take advantage of it. It's not a 100% guarantee rule though, and it's not financial advice. But this is usually the way it goes. Bitcoin pumps. Large uh, cap altcoins pump. Mid cap altcoins pump. Low cap altcoins pump. And what happens is they will take the profits from each and move them into the next one to keep capitalizing their profits. So Bitcoin, again, you know, pumped up to 24,000. Sold back down to 22,000. People took the profits. They've now put that into, you know, Ethereum, Litecoin and XRP and all of that. They pump up, all of a sudden they sell off. The profits for those have taken. People have now, you know, doubled up their profits. Then they put them into the mid caps. They pump up, take those profits, they put them into the low caps and so on and so on. It's just an ever revolving sort of cycle. You just need to be careful with it. Uh, it's not a 100% guarantee rule that it always plays out like that. And it's not always every single coin does it. Some do better than others. Uh, but you know, if you're a trader, that's the general theme of how it works in a bull cycle anyway. Uh, in a bear market, completely different story. But look, you know, Litecoin, Doge, uh, and a number of other coins are doing really, really well. Uh, and you can see that, uh, you know, that's how much Bitcoin pumped and now it's sold off. And again, some of those profits are now being put into the other coins. That's just the way it works. Most of the time anyway, not all the time. Now. Here is something that might cause a bit of a scare and again, create uh, some sell-off. So there's an urgent plea to prevent an auction of $1.6 billion of Bitcoin seized from a Silk Road hacker. Now, Pierre Rocher has made an urgent plea to lawmakers to instead create a strategic Bitcoin reserve and fill it with BTC seized by law enforcement. So he wants the American government to hold onto it and not auction it off like they have in the past. And there's something really, really interesting uh, that's down in this article. So, Rich Richard, sorry, emphasizes that past auctions of 144,000 Bitcoins that the American government sold off in 2014 and 2015, and I like this part, generated only 122 million. <laughs> I'm sure the government wasn't complaining at the time. 122 million is nothing to sort of scoff at. But if they simply had have held it, that 122 million right now would be worth 3.32 billion. I mean, I don't know, you know, that's a lot, you know, that's a lot lot more simply by holding so hence why he's saying to the government don't sell the bitcoin you know create a reserve for the country and look my personal opinion is all governments should be doing exactly the same they should be buying up some bitcoin uh at the cheap prices now and just holding long term and understanding that yes it could have a 40 percent retracement tomorrow but over the long term it's most likely going to go up and, you know, they just need some smart people to be able to look at the markets and understand how they work. And then they'll be able to make some money buying it cheap, selling it high. Uh, you know, the, the average investor, unfortunately, doesn't do that very well. But that's my personal opinion, not financial advice. But it would be very interesting to see if America did that. Because, again, 120 million, that's great. But it's nothing compared to, you know, 3.3 billion. I mean, I would say that's close to a sort of 30x right there from a hundred million um yeah that they the government could have had and again you know that 3.3 billion now if they had have understood it and sold it when it was high and then bought back in it was when it was low could be worth a whole lot more you know they could have uh quite a lot more interesting to see whether america will do that uh most governments don't like to hold on to things they like to sell them and they just want to be liquid and have their cash look will they change their tune and change their mind considering uh what's happened in the past interesting to see what will happen but look if they do decide to sell them that would definitely create some fud and push the price down i'm not sure if you know 1.6 billion dollars you know worth of bitcoin would do too much i think it would get bought up quite quickly uh in all fairness but i think it could easily move the market downwards in some way shape or form i'm just not sure if it'd be enough to you know create you know bitcoin going from 23,000 all the way down to 
you know, 14,000. I don't think it could do that, but, you know, I'm no expert. We'd just have to wait and see. All right, over here. So Bitcoin could see a 25 to 35, a 25 to 30 percent sell off in the new year, but it's still a long term buy trader says. I do have to agree. It would not surprise me at all if there was a 25 to 30 to 30 percent sell off in the very near future. Maybe even this weekend. Again, we've basically reached that target that I said of around about 25,000. You know, we're a thousand short. We pumped up to 23.8 thousand dollars. That's close enough. A sort of 40% retracement from, re retracement from here takes us back down into the $14,000 range. That wouldn't surprise me at all. It's not that I'm saying that's what I think is going to happen. I'm just saying that I'm prepared. I've, you know, I've done my research. I've spent my time studying these markets and everything. And I got in at a good time, at least what I thought was going to be a good time at the time. And it turned out I was right, so I was lucky. So, you know, if, if it does retrace from here, I'm not going to be hurt uh, in my Bitcoin kind of terms. Don't get me wrong, I'll have occurred some losses, but I'll still be in the in the green overall. You know, some of my altcoins would really, really hurt at the time. But look, that's just the way it is. If you hold long term and you're more an investor like I am than a trader, um, you know, most of the time you're going to be all right, provided you've done your own research. And again, nothing I say is financial advice. It's just my personal opinion. And look, we'll soon go on to uh, why I'm more of an investor than a trader, and I'll show you some trades that I did. Look, some of them haven't worked out all that good, and others have done uh, you know, significantly better. But we'll get to that soon. All right. Now, again, they're talking about a sell-off. We've got another article here where they say Bitcoin price rally near point of exhaustion. Uh, warns a market timing expert. <laughs> a market timing expert, that, that is pretty funny. Uh, I'm going to say that this must be one of the biggest Bitcoin whales ever if they know how to time the market uh, expertly. I don't think anyone knows how to do that. But it does make for a nice sort of read. And look, I would have to agree. I, I think you know it'll be hard to see Bitcoin pump too much higher without a somewhat significant, you know, 15, 30% retracement, maybe even more. But look, I, I could be wrong. It could take until Bitcoin gets to 50,000 before anything like that happens. It could take until Bitcoin gets to 70,000 before we see anything like that. No one really knows. Uh, but again, you know, it's Friday. I expect there to be some kind of pullback over the weekend. And look, it could be a really, really big one. It could be the 30, 40% uh, retracement coming and we just don't know. All right, let's go over to the markets, have a look. So $666 billion. This needs a bit of a refresh. Let's see how it's doing. Have we gone up or down? We've gone down. There we go. We lost $2 billion. So the market is fluctuating a little bit, jumping around the place, but we are out of the 22,000s. We're up in the 23, which is good. Gas prices, 50. So that's not great. It's come down from the 100 that it was, which is good, but uh, not great. And look, BTC dominance getting up to 65% when Bitcoin gets on a move people start to put their money into Bitcoin then when they feel it's flattened out they start to put some money into you know these other ones here and then once the the large cap uh, alts have pumped they'll take their profits out of here and they'll put them into the mid caps the mid caps will pump profits will be taking out of out of those and put into the low caps that's generally how it works. That is the cycle uh, that the market plays out. Now, it's not an exact science, though, so please be careful. Now, that's more just information for anyone who thinks they want to get into trading. Look, I do do some trading, more swing trading than anything. Uh, and again, I'm going to show you very shortly that sometimes I just simply get it wrong. So be careful. But if you understand those cycles, it's not actually that hard to make a profit. Again, you see Bitcoin go up by you know, 20, 30% over seven days, take some profit, put it into the mid caps, watch the mid caps, they go up 20, 30%, you know, in, a, in literally only a couple of days, or maybe even a night or something, take some profit, put that into then uh, your low, low caps and all the rest of it. But you know, with the low caps, really be very careful because not all low caps are going to pump, you know, pretty much almost anything in the top 100 is guaranteed to pump at some stage outside of the top 100 will be very careful that is that really is sort of gambling i don't invest in too many things outside of the top 100 uh, in all fairness I, I don't invest in too many things outside of the top 50 but i have put some 
uh, money into those. All right, so let's have a look at some trades that I did. Now, we're going to start with the ones that I got wrong because I don't want to, you know, blow smoke up, you know, everyone's rear end uh, and be one of those, you know, YouTubers who can't admit that they're ever wrong. I 100% get it wrong at times. All right, here's Ren. Now, this was the trend that I saw. This was the pattern. It was just cycling and getting tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter. This was the average price line. These were the trend lines. And I thought for sure this was going to hit here and pump up. It did not. It fell down. Now, in saying that, this is against Bitcoin. So all that's happened here is Bitcoin has well outperformed it. In the dollar value, I don't think I've lost any money. I mean, I got back into REN sort of way back around here anyway. So this is where I built my big position. I have still scaled into REN at times, uh, but overall I'm in the green. The dollar value, not a problem. But here, I've absolutely been smashed by Bitcoin. Bitcoin's way outperformed it. Look, REN's gonna have its moment, I have no doubt of that, uh, and it will pump back up. But I just got this one wrong. I would have been better putting my money into Bitcoin. There we go. I don't get it right. Let's have another one. Another look. Link. I got this one wrong as well. So we can see this was the long-term trend. Every time Link came back and bounced off this line, it had a parabolic move. So it bounced off here. There's one. There's two. There's sort of three. There's definitely four. There's five. And it was coming back down here and getting closer and closer. And I thought, yep, it's going to do the same. And much the same as Ren, it didn't. It turned out to be different. And it's fallen through. Again, this is against Bitcoin though. In the dollar terms, I don't think I've lost any money. I think the dollar terms, it's around about stable from when I got in here, not my uh, original position many months ago. I think here, I might have made like a dollar or something on the price that I got in. This is just telling me that I should have gone for Bitcoin. But much the same, I'm sure Link is going to have its move and you know go to its next new highs. But this is just where I got it wrong. I would have been able to. I would have been better putting it in Bitcoin or maybe some other altcoin that I just didn't know about. That's life. But look, here's a couple that I've got right as well. So Ave, I saw this channel a while ago. It was going down, and I knew this couldn't last forever. There was going to be something that would happen. It bounced off here, and it got to around about here. And I just made a call. I said, look. Again, I got into Ave many months ago. I got into most things back around sort of March to June. Uh, I saw this and I said, I reckon it's going to go higher. So I jumped in sort of around about here. I watched it pumped up. I got super excited, faked out, fell down below. Started to get worried that it was then going to roll down and come back down here. Pumped up again. I got really excited, fell back down below. Now again, this is against Bitcoin though. This is not against the dollar. Against the dollar, I've been doing just fine. I haven't been doing great, but I haven't really lost anything. It's just against Bitcoin. I would have been better to have my money in Bitcoin at times. But again, I saw this happening on the smaller time frames, and then it pumped out. And now this to me looks like it's just ranging along here. Now this could still do the same as uh, Link and Ren and just simply roll over against Bitcoin and go lower or it might pump higher. I'm gonna wait till the weekend and see what happens if we have the retracement, how this sort of fares, uh, and I may simply, again, more of a sort of swing trade, uh, put some uh, profits into Aave and see if it goes on another pump. I think I can get rid of these lines now. These, these have been here for quite some time and they're null and void, so I'll get rid of that. Get rid of that, that is no longer the trend. We break out of that quite some time ago. And we'll get rid of these small time frame ones because uh, it broke out of that as well. And now we'll just have to wait and see what the pattern is. I mean, at the moment, there's a bit of a pattern sort of, you know, traveling up that way. But at the moment, it'll be sitting right on it, really. You know, you can do a trend line from sort of around about here to around about there. And so it's looking a little bit dangerous at the moment. It's wick below, it's sitting right on at the moment. So it could quite possibly roll lower or it could bounce and just go higher. Again, the, the large caps are pumping at the moment. That's going to move into the mid, uh, and that's where Ave is. It's sort of a mid cap, and then they're gonna move into the low cap. But now it's just to see whether Ave is going to be one of the mid caps that does well. Again, most of the coins in the top 100 are likely to have some kind of boost. It's just whether Ave has a good one uh, and can outpace Bitcoin. All right, Synthetics Network, much the same. I picked this a little while ago. I saw it come down here and bounce. Uh, so I got into it. 
Uh, it pumped up. It fell back down. It pumped up here, and I thought, this is where it's going to happen. Fake out. Oh, fell down, and I started to get a little bit worried. Didn't sell, didn't panic, though. Again, I built my you know big position back in March. Well, what I consider a big position anyway. Most uh, other sort of good investors would probably have a lot more than me. But then I saw it finally break out and now it's just sort of playing tag with this trend line here and again this is against bitcoin so my dollar value is still doing fine i haven't really lost anything in dollar terms it's just bitcoin you know sometimes bitcoin's outperforming it and other times it's outperforming it so just trading sideways i'm waiting to see if this is going to roll over and come back down and touch this uh, and bounce up or simply roll over and break through or is this the new start of the new sort of parabolic trend? Again, synthetics is kind of a mid-capper, uh, and we're going to have to wait and see whether it gets its next big pump. All right, lucky last but not least, let's have a look at Bitcoin. So it's done quite well. I mean, it's been in an uptrend really, you know, since back in September. So that's a number of months without any real big retracements. We've had, uh, you know, an okay one here. This was a reasonable one, and it was about 17% all up. Uh, and then again, a bit of a retracement here, but this is uh, what I'm looking at. So this is, again, Friday Australia, but Thursday over in the States. So I would not be surprised if we had a market retracement, uh, a weekend retracement that at least brings us maybe back down to around about here. I'm not saying it'll come right to here, but maybe back down to sort of here, 21,000, 20,500 know, ish. But look, completely possible we have the bigger retracement we come back down and test this kind of you know fourteen thousand dollar level somewhere in about there i know the 100 day moving average is somewhere around about here we're way off even the 50 day moving average and the 200 day moving average i think at the moment is down around about twelve thousand. so look at some stage we're going to come back and test that 200 day moving average that is what bitcoin does it's always done it throughout all its cycles it's just whether it's going to do now or it's going to do it later. So again, if I was just getting into Bitcoin now, I would 100% dollar cost average. Put a little bit in now, wait a few days to see what happens. If it retraces, put in a little bit more. Not everything, because what happens if it retraces some more? Put in a little bit more. Uh, again, until whatever price you think it might be that kind of low point. And I, I would be surprised if it goes below this kind of $13,800 mark, but it could. And if it does, it'll be around that kind of $12,000 mark where we would expect it to uh, hit that 200 day moving average uh, uh, and move off it if it repeats history. And that's what it's done in history. So I know at some stage, the 200 day moving average, uh, Bitcoin's gonna come back and touch it. It's when it has one of those bigger retracements. It's just whether it's coming now or not. All right, that's it for me. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. Have a great weekend. We should all be on that game train at the moment. And I'll see you next time.